What's up, y'all? Everyday Say here. So I've been wanting to have this conversation for a while. Um, I was out of town recently, and it was on my heart, and I wanted to talk about it. But the conversation was, what do you lead with? And I get it because of the world we live in. You know, men, they tend to lead with their money. Women tend to lead with their body. I've talked to many men and many men, they're like, you know, I have to keep up a certain appearance to be able to attract the women that I want. And a lot of times that's them going into debt to buy clothes, to buy cars, to buy, um, to flaunt a certain type of lifestyle in order to attract that woman that he, that he so desires. And there's a problem with that. There's a problem with that because you have to understand there are women out there who are users of men and their money. Uh, the what is her name? Is her gym, name Jim, Brittany Renner? She's a good example. Very good example. Guy with that guy got him to get her. You know, she got pregnant. And then next thing you know, you know, she literally used him for his money. Now, that's his fault, ultimately, because he was retarded and didn't look at any of the videos she had made prior to getting with her when she absolutely, completely 100 told the world who she was as a person. But he thought he could change her. That's his fault. But I digress. When you lead with money as a man. You have to understand at some point you're going to get used. It's not going to be about you being a good person. It's not going to be about your personality. It's going to be look at what he can offer me. That's what women are saying. Look at what he can offer me. Look what I can get out of him. And once they use you as a resource, they're going to move on. And then what ends up happening is you have the mindset of men saying, well, I'm not going to pay for first dates. I'm never going to do this again. I'm never going to do that. I'm never going to do this. Well, the problem is, is you led with money in the first place. What did you think you were going to get? You didn't lead with your character. You didn't lead with your values. You didn't lead with your morals. You led with none of those things. You led with posting money of thousands and thousands of dollars on Instagram. You led with a car that you can barely afford on Instagram. You led with that designer clothes on Instagram. You led with that type of lifestyle. You showed that type of lifestyle to people. And unfortunately, there are women out there that prey on men who, who flaunt that type of lifestyle. You're asking for a woman to use you when you're posting things like that. And I use Bill Gates. He's an older guy. Or let's just even take Mark Zuckerberg. Mark Zuckerberg drives a Prius. He's a he's a billion. I think he's a billionaire. He's close to a billionaire. He's, he's definitely a millionaire. But Mark Zuckerberg. He wears like khaki pants and a blue shirt. Like every day. He drives a Prius. He's not leading with money. He's not flaunting money. I don't even know what size house he lives in, but I seen his, uh, they had a um, baby shower the other day. Very simple, very plain. It wasn't in a multi-million dollar mansion. It was none of that. It was in a small room with a couple friends and that was it. When you lead with money, you are going to attract women that want to use you for your money. And once they use you for your money, they're going to go after who they really want. They're going to go after the men that they really desire, that they really want. But right now, I'm going to use you to get this. I'm going to use you to get that. You showing that you got the money, so I'm going to use you for your money. And this is similar also to women. Women do the same thing. Get on Instagram, half-naked picture, Half naked picture, half naked picture, half naked picture, dang near whole naked picture. What kind of man do you think you're going to attract by putting your body on the internet? What kind of man do you think you're going to attract 
by you twerking on the internet? What kind of man do you think you're going to attract with you half naked in dang near all of your pictures? You think you're going to get your husband that way? You go, you think that you're going to get a man of value and morals and integrity that way? Let me tell you something about men. Men are territorial. Most of us are. There are a few, a few men out there who really don't care who sees your body or whatever. They have this mindset of what's mine is mine so everybody can look. But ultimately, she's coming home to me. But I'm telling you, that is not the majority of men. Majority of men are very territorial. What is mine is mine. I don't want anybody to have what is mine. That's why men typically have a problem when women start mentioning body counts. Men cannot take body counts. And I tell men all the time, don't even ask. Just don't ask. Because it doesn't matter if you say you've had you slept with 30 people or if you've slept with three people. You ain't going to be able to take it anyway. Why? Because men are possessive. Men are territorial. They want what's theirs to be theirs and nobody else's. So for the majority of men, men with integrity, morals, and character, they are not going to go after a woman who is putting her body out all online. But let me tell you who will go after women who put their body out on the internet and online. The men who are looking for good times. The men that will fly you out. The men who just want to get in your pants and then go on to the next half naked girl on Instagram. That's who wants you. No man of normal integrity and character and morals is going to sit here and try to talk to a woman and wife a woman who all she does is put half naked pictures online. Now, understand, there is a difference. Let me reiterate this. There is a difference between a woman who does it for a living. And I'm not talking about OnlyFans. I'm not talking about none of that stuff. I'm talking about an actual super model. I'm talking about an actual model who actually is sponsored by a clothing or a garment company to model these clothing. That's different. And even in those situations or those aspects, even in those situations, those aspects, Typically, those women are not constantly displaying themselves in just bikinis. They all they wear different clothing. There's different designer and clothing that they put on the, that they wear on top of also being bikinis and so on and so forth. So I'm not talking about models. I'm not talking about women who actually had who are actual models. I'm not talking about the only fan girl. I'm not talking about that. That's a different story. They do not qualify as models. I just want to make that clear. There are some people, there are models who model themselves and model their bodies for a living. That is not the same thing as an OnlyFans girl. That is not the same thing as a stripper. Let me say that now. But women, what do you expect to attract when your entire Instagram is full of half-naked pictures? You think you're going to attract your husband that way? You think a man of character and morals and, and, and integrity wants his wife to be sprawled out, spread eagle all over Instagram? Do you? No. You know who you attract, though? Men who want a good time. Men who want to use you for your body. Men who want to fly you out. That's who you attract. So what are you leading with? Are you a man? Are you leading with your money? Women, are you leading with your body? Are you leading with your character, your morals, your values, integrity? Are you leading with character? Are you offering more than money in your body? Are you showing yourself as a person of substance? that's deeper than just what you see on Instagram? Are people able to look at you and say, she's deeper than just a body? He's deeper than just his money. 
or are you so shallow that that's all they see? All they see is a pretty face in a in a in a in a body. All they see is this this handsome guy, his money. Is that what you're leading with? Lead with your morals. Lead with your values. Lead with your character. Lead with integrity. When you lead with those things, people become people who are attracted to, to those things. That's who you'll start to attract. You'll start to attract people who are looking for those type of characteristics in a man and in a woman. Then all the, the gold diggers, they drop off. You don't qualify for a gold digger. Then the, the, the guys who want to fly you out, the guys who, who are just horn dogs, you start to drop them off. There are men out there that do get intimidated by women who look like they got themselves together. I've met plenty of men who've seen a woman dress in business attire and look just just very professional and very well put together. And they're like, no, 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 I can't mess with her. She look like she on her stuff. She looks like I cannot handle her. She's not going to deal with my BS, so I'm not even going to go talk to her. I know where my head is, and I think I know where her head is. And as soon as I open my mouth, she going to shut me down. It's not even worth me even entertaining or going to go and try and talk to her. I've seen men say that. Who know that they are not in a place to talk to a woman of that caliber. I've seen it. And I've seen women who knew that all they were looking for was a certain type of, of resource from a man and look at a man and say, he carries himself way too well. I can't, I'm not going to be able to get that out of him. He looks too intelligent. He looks too, too, too informed for me to try and manipulate him and try to get something out of him. He looks like he's, he's on a different level than I. It's not even worth me trying. I've seen it. So the question is, what are you leading with? Peace out.